गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स नेक्स्ट डे इन कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस द लाइन बाय लाइन एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ एन एलियन हैंड वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस क्लास द बिग टीवी स्क्रीन इन द न्यू इन द कंट्रोल रूम शोज एन एलियन स्पेसक्राफ्ट द क्वेश्चन वेदर देयर इज लाइफ ऑन अदर प्लानिट एक्सरसाइज everybody is mine the president of the central committee is about to make an important statement now this is the question comes whether the life is on other planets exist the president of the central committee is about to make an important statement next day when tilu's father went to work he found the control room full of excitement people were crowded round the big tv screen it showed a dot in an otherwise when tilu's when tilu's father entered into the control room it was full of excitement and people were crowded round the big tv screen because they saw a dot it is an test star for its changing its position and they were expecting that it is not a star because the star doesn't change position but it was changing the position our computer has given a trajectory trajectory path for this thing it is heading towards us the supervisor of the last shift explained it is an test star for its changing position a space craft tilu's father asked by now he was joined by his teammates on the new ship now Tilu's father had also joined, and that was a spacecraft. So we think, but it needs watching. It needs watching. A spacecraft, where from the solar system, was not known to have any life anywhere else except on their planet. And they were thinking, how it can be because the solar system wasn't known to have any life there. Tilu's father recalled the ancient days recorded in the archives. Archives old record from archives recorded in the archives at the Central Bureau when their ancestor had a well-developed space program and had searched the solar system with manned and unmanned. spacecraft and found that they were indeed alone and now he was thinking about the old days when he had searched the solar system with men and unmanned men's with men and unmanned spacecraft and found that they were indeed alone that they were alone now in the days of energy shorties and underground life they had no space program at that time they had no space for the program they could only watch impotently impotently helplessly now they have no other option because they can watch vintage vintage money better place who were these strangers now the question comes who were these strangers The conference room in the central bureau was so quiet that an outsider would have thought it was empty. There was quietness all around. If anybody thinks, if anybody see, it seemed as if it was empty. So much quietness there. Far from it. It was full of capacity, but the members of the central committee were unusually quiet. They were also quiet. they knew that the president was going to make a momentous momentous announcement momentous important because they are thinking they thought that it may be that the president would make an important announcement colleagues i will give you the report as i have it while i speak there may be change in the situation the president pushed to get his paper in order and then counted two spacecraft are approaching us one is in fact orbiting our planet orbiting circling our planet and while the other is still far away and now he announced there are two spacecraft that are coming first is circling our planet and second is 
far we guess that they are coming from our neighboring planet it seemed as if they are coming from our neighboring planet how should we react number 1 your views and now he wanted to know the views of the members number 1 was in the charge of defense he was known for his courage and wisdom sir if we wish we can totally destroy these spacecraft with our missiles if you want we can destroy it but that wouldn't make us any wiser we do not have the capacity to render these crafts unoperational in space but should they land we can render them ineffective any time we choose our report said that they do not contain living beings they only have instrument we think so that they are no living beings they have only instrument if you say we can destroy it number 2 opinion was that the president asked the scientist on the committee i recommend non interference and passive observation passive inactive since we do not know the power of the senders of this spacecraft because we don't know what is how strong the sender of the spacecraft is so we should remain inactive we are still in the dark about their interiors it is wise not to reveal our existence it would be better that we should not so that we are here we might reveal we might reveal our existence the president looked at number 3 who was a social scientist he was not agreed with number 2 but this was one of those rare occasions when he did i agree with number 2 he also said that he agreed with number 2 he will go so far as to say we should keep our surface activities to the minimum thus creating the impression that there is no life we should not do any activity and it seems as if there is no life fortunately our surface conditions to give that impression before the president could speak his personal telephone rang he lifted the receiver listened quietly for a minute colleagues he and the first spacecraft has landed so students i think you are able to understand this story thank you